Hello everyone, and in this video, we're going to basically merge um, the API URLs that we just created for our API views and all of that. And also, we're going to create the components for the login and the registration in the in the React in React for the front. Okay, um, so let's open our um, main URLs here. Let's just include. I'm going to put all of them in under like API. Okay. So here, input alpha. Oops, sorry. Alpha underscore a API. Sorry. Alpha a API. What else? Just like that. Um, just go down here, and then I save that. So basically, um, here we go a API slash. Oh, not, oh, not this one. API slash alpha slash login. That will be kind of like the the URL. The URL path for the login, etc. So now let's run the server. Oh, you have your your running. <laughs> I just stop it for some reason. Um, I'll make sure that to run the migration, it should be all like that. So we're running the servers, and I have a extension for um for Chrome have it here activated it's called like rested basically with this um extension you can make um requests like api requests like get pause put and all of that um so yeah we're going to do that so let's just copy this url and let's paste it here and remember so it will be api slash alpha slash we're going to do the sign up we're going to make sure that the sign up's working so sign up so remember it's a post and then headers and um, make sure that you have content type oops and then here app application slash json okay I'll be the header so now here for the body we don't need to put basic authentication because remember it's for allow any so request body we're going to put username and for the username we just put letter code and another parameter the email remember and put a letter code at email con just a fake email and then for password i'm gonna put pp um pp code one two three okay um and then let's just yeah let's just sing and as you can see here it's working it says okay it created the the user and this is the id and the status is 201 and this is the token so um so this token is the token generated by the um by um sorry by um <clears throat> the nox token <laughs> so yeah so here we're going to basically in our um in our application we're going to store this response <clears throat> with this token after we create it so the the sign up is working now let's go to let's go to our um is it here let's go to the admin let me just create a new create super user let me create a super user so you can see That's inside there. Okay. 
this from the server. Okay. And as you can see, we have the this token is for the ladder code user. Um, we have the user here, and we have the profile for each one of this. Okay. So we know that the sign up is working. So now let's go to um so let's go here and then let's go to front end. So front end in here in source, we're going to start creating a, our component. So here in components, let's create a new folder. Sorry. Um, here in this folder, let's call it um, both. So inside this um, folder, let's create two files. Let's call it login.js and another file and register.js. You can call it whatever you want. You can call it um, whatever. So um, let's start with the login. Okay, so remember, oops. Yes, okay. So remember the RCFE, RCFE, to basically um, create our like component here. And we're going to use, um, I'm, I'm using Bulma. So you can use whatever like CSS framework that you want. So just go to the forms, general. You just copy one of these. Just basically one of these. This one. You just copy this one. Okay. And just put it here. Let me just put it here. So let me just components car. Let me have a car. Just like this one. Just put the shift this to the bottom. So I'm going to like speed up like this like designing part because that's not the main like reason. We don't have to we're not designing here. So so when you're when we're going to use like the components. So like class, we have to put class name as part of like uh, JSX, as you can see here, this is a JSX attribute. So the class attributes for the HTML, you put class name here. So this one will be um, container, and I will put a padding top of five, okay? And then here we have the can the car and the car con the car content. Um and just like that. So in the car content, I will have the form. Just put a screen form. And then uh, we just yeah, we just put I don't need this. Very okay, this will be for the form. Remember class name, class name. Another thing that it's very important that you are closing all your or your tags. This one is because we're not closing it the input here. So um what you can do, you can just put um, a slash like that. So it closes the, the tag. Also here. 
This one won't fail because it's closing the button. Let me just move this up here and this up here. Okay. Um, this will be for the, um, kind of like for the email. So sorry for the, for the login. <laughs> um, let's just save that. And now let's go RCFE. Same thing. This will be for the register. Um, and basically we're just doing the same thing, but more stuff. So let's just copy this whole thing. Just copy that and then paste it here. Okay. And then here is just register register or to sign up, whatever. Or we can just copy this one actually. Go to the farm general. Um we can just copy this one. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can copy these fields. Um, but yeah, so we have we we created like these two components in out. Remember to create a folder and I put these two components there. Um, in the next video, we're going to start working with the logins, like um, make sure the just like working with routes and all of that. Um, but yeah, this is it for now, and I will see you in the next video.